What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to talk to you about the red maple tree that I have here in my front yard. If you're new to my channel or you don't recall what's been going on with this tree, last year in the fall I found out I have uh, rot in the tree and I also knew I had some disease in the tree. And I, at that moment I contacted John Perry to uh, figure out what I could do with the biostimulant pack to try to nurse this tree back to health. At that point he told me to use microgreen and aerate. Um, I don't remember the specific application rates, I'll put that on the screen. Um, so I did an application of that last fall and then I did that same application this past spring. And then the tree just wasn't doing much better. It was, it was looking a little bit healthier, but it wasn't anything drastic. There were still just unhealthy looking branches and the tree itself just didn't look good. Well then June came and that's when we had a bunch of storms roll through with a lot of winds and we lost about three, maybe four limbs from these storms and uh, the tree just looks pretty pathetic now. So let me take you, let me show you what it looks like right now from just those storms. So you can see most of the limbs pretty much came off this side of the tree. We had some that came off the top, but a lot of the limbs were right here on the side. That's why it just looks so lopsided of all the branches are over here and there's little to none over here. So after all this took place, I uh, contacted John Perry and I actually spoke with him on the phone and I gave him a lot more of the history of the tree, at least since we've lived here, what I've been dealing with since I moved in. And we just got in a really good conversation about you know plants and trees and just how they um, are affected by disease and rot and all that kind of stuff. But he went into more detail about how I could use the biostimulant pack as well as the flora green to help you know continue nursing this tree back. So John did mention potentially using a fungicide but I just didn't want to buy something specifically for this tree because I'm afraid that even if I were to use a fungicide the tree is going to die anyway so I really just wanted to try to use the products I had here at hand at the house without having to buy something else. So part of the treatment plan he's had me on is it really just started with a big big strong dose of aerate and that dose was he wanted me to go 16 ounces one to one ratio of 16 ounces of aerate 16 ounces of water so it was a very strong dose and just do a, a a drench on the trunk and it was actually pretty cool i did that probably at the end of june today is uh july 30th and i did that i think on june 30th and the markings the stain that it left on the trunk of the tree is still there so I'm not sure if you can see this, but th this black line right here is from the application of aerate that I did all around the trunk. Now the aerate uh, application around the trunk of the tree, all I did was use the watering can, mixed it all up in there. Again, it was 16 ounces of aerate, 16 ounces of water, and I just drenched the trunk with a watering can. So that was just the start of the treatment plan he had me on. After that, he recommended doing a weekly dose of flora green at half an ounce per caliper inch. Now this is a nine ounce or nine caliper inch tree. So I put roughly four and a half ounces of the flora green on it per week. The flora green application was used with an orthodialin spray hose and spray. Normally I have only done up to about six feet on the trunk of the tree, but this time uh, he just, John just recommended I just drench the entire trunk of the tree, go up in the tree, spray the foliage. Since I'm doing light weekly doses of flora green, we're just trying to just lightly feed the tree to help push it through this tough time it's kind of going through. So the final thing that he had me do that I thought was kind of pretty interesting was to use hydrogen peroxide on the wounds of the tree. Now, if you've ever used hydrogen peroxide on an open wound yourself, you know that it can burn and it can, it kind of foams and that's kind of the, the hydrogen peroxide essentially cleaning and killing bacteria. Now, the thing about hydrogen peroxide is that it will kill good and bad bacteria. So there is some uh, a give and take with it. So it, you want some of that good bacteria, but if you're trying to kill the bad bacteria, I guess, you know, you kind of have to kill some of the good to get rid of the bad. So what I did was I just put hydrogen peroxide in a little pump bottle and I went around the tree and sprayed either where I had pruned the tree and there was prune you know, wounds, as well as wounds on the tree that were just from branches falling off and those types of things. And it was actually pretty cool because when I sprayed these wounds with the hydrogen peroxide, you could begin to see it bubble. So that told me, I was like, all right, well maybe it's kind of killing some of the bacteria, some of the bad bacteria. It's obviously potentially gonna kill some of the good bacteria as well. But the idea here is to essentially kind of kill some of the maybe bad bacteria contributing to the rot 
So as I'm fertilizing the tree with the flora green every week, it's kind of uh, pushing its way through, killing that, uh, maybe stopping some of the rot with the hydrogen peroxide and the tree is getting pushed through with that weekly dose of flora green. So since I started the treatment about a month ago and I've been doing my best to keep up with the weekly doses of flora green, I honestly have noticed some improvements with the overall look of the tree. The leaves are greener, they're getting more mature and they're getting bigger and I'm not noticing the fungus that was on the earlier leaves. The new leaves that are coming, I'm not seeing any fungus anymore. And the old leaves with the fungus are actually starting to look healthier as well. Now to recap, the aerate is just a one-time application. I just did that 16 ounce application of a one-to-one -one ratio aerate to water just at the very beginning. And the hydrogen peroxide, I only did one time as well. I just went through the tree as best I could, sprayed those open wounds. The only weekly thing I've been doing is the application of the flora green, and I've been applying that at half an ounce per caliper inch. So since starting these applications in the tree, I've noticed the tree has been improving drastically, and I've never noticed the tree improve this well since doing any other treatment to it. Granted, it still has a long way to go, but I'm still hopeful that um, the tree just recovers and gets healthier overall. But I am also keeping in the back of my mind that it could still die because sometimes there just there isn't anything you can do for a plant if it's gone too far in a bad direction. So I hope you guys found this video interesting. Please leave me any comments, questions below. I'll do my best to try to answer those. If you do have really more extensive questions or I'm not able to answer them, I would recommend going to email John Perry. I'll leave his email in the description below because he has way more knowledge about this stuff than I could ever provide. But as always, thanks for stopping by. I'm Ben the Lawn Guardian, and I'll see you in the next video.